Hey guys, welcome back to another video on TJ's Tech. So you just built your fresh new PC and you're ready to start gaming. So what do you do? Install Windows, then download Apex and start playing? No. You need to do a couple things before you can enjoy your new machine. First, if your PC has been successfully built, it should post. On this screen, you should see all the components installed in your PC, from your CPU to your RAM, your storage, and other devices like your keyboard and mice as you can see on my screen here. This is a good sign that you've built your PC correctly if you can see all of these. Now you're gonna have to press delete or F2, F10, escape or F12 or whatever your computer says on the screen in order to enter BIOS. You need to enter the BIOS before you can do anything else. Otherwise you won't be able to install things like your operating system. So if you're installing Windows like I'll be doing, you're going to need to download the Windows installation media tool on another Windows computer and download Windows onto an empty USB drive with at least eight gigabytes of storage. This takes a few hours or even minutes depending on how fast your internet is. So I recommend you do this while building your PC or before building it. Plug this USB drive into your PC while it's off and turn that bad boy on. At this point, you should arrive on the installation screen. Perfect. Now just go ahead and set it up however you want. So now you're on your Windows desktop. So here, just let Windows do its thing and run all the driver updates. Just go to settings, Windows update, and allow everything to update and restart. However, for your graphics, you're gonna need to go to the AMD or the Nvidia website and download the driver for your specific PC. Then open and install it. For the Nvidia drivers, you're gonna have to go on the Nvidia website, look up the GPU you're using. In my case, it's a 3060 Ti and download the appropriate software for a game ready driver. For an AMD card, you're gonna have to download the software called AM AMD Adrenaline. What happens is you download this software and it uh, automatically detects the latest driver for your GPU. Do the same thing for other devices you might have like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, webcam, keyboard and mouse, and whichever drivers your PC might need. You're gonna need to download the latest BIOS for your motherboard as well. Now search the specific model of your motherboard, which by the way, if you don't know, you can just press the Windows key and search for system information. It should be in the baseboard information section. And now download it onto an empty USB drive and install it. Now restart your computer and enter BIOS, then let it update. This might take a while depending on your system specs, so just allow it to restart as many times as it can and don't interrupt it. And try not to turn off your computer while it happens. Now your PC is almost ready at this point. You just need to tweak a few settings. If you have a high refresh rate monitor, make sure you go to display settings and ensure that your PC is running at its maximum refresh rate. I've seen too many people using a 240 Hertz or 144 Hertz monitor and they're still running at 60 Hertz, which is very disappointing. So just make sure you go to your display settings and set it to its maximum. You can also do this with the Nvidia control panel. All you have to do is right click if you're using Windows 11 and go to show more options, then go to NVIDIA control panel. Now all you have to do is navigate your way to change resolution and set it to the maximum refresh rate. Then now let's go back to the BIOS and you're gonna have to turn on Extreme Memory Profile, XMP, if you're using a C Intel CPU or Direct Overclock Profile, DOCP, if you're using a Ryzen CPU. This will allow your memory to run at its advertised frequency and this should significantly improve your PC's performance when it comes to general computing tasks and gaming. If you have a beefy CPU cooler in your system, you should allow your CPU to run at its maximum frequency as well. So just go into your BIOS and enable it. If you feel like your, f your fans are too loud, you can tune your fan frequency in the BIOS as well, or you could use a third-party software of your choice. It's worth doing some research. And now for RGB. For managing your RGB, I recommend you use Signal RGB it works with all major RGB accessories, so you won't have that much trouble managing your RGB devices. And they also have a bunch of cool presets that you can use in your PC, and it can have some really cool effects and match with your wallpaper. So now it's time to start installing your games. As you might know already, there's a bunch of launchers. That's Steam, Epic Games, Battle.net, Origin Games, Xbox, and so many more and they all want you to use them. You can just go ahead and use Steam, GOG Games, or NVIDIA GeForce Experience to launch all your games from one place, but you still need to install all the other launchers. I'll do a future video 
detailing all the softwares that PC gamers should have. It might be on your screen right now if it's up. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe on your way out. Peace.